introduce you to a concept called scatastic terrorism. It's a term that goes back to the 1930s. Essentially, it refers to the use of mass communication, such as radio or television, to encourage unstable individuals, lone wolves, to commit acts of violence. In the past, the term was often applied to Osama bin Laden's use of videotape to encourage people across the world to commit terrorism on their own, without the need to be connected to an organized group like Al-Qaeda. The idea is, if you paint a picture of desperation, oppression, and war, then random people will respond accordingly, especially the unhinged. Almost always, it's the individual who commits the violence, who faces the punishment. Whereas the, st the stochastic terrorist, the person who fanned the flames, goes unpunished. So how prevalent is stochastic, stochastic terrorism in the United States? In July of 2008, a lone gunman killed two people and shot nine others at the Unitarian Church in Tennessee. He said his rampage was motivated by his hatred of Democrats, liberals, African Americans, and gays. And, poli and, people, and police found books by Sean Hannity, Bill O'Reilly, and Michael Savage in his home. In April of 2009, lone gunman Richard Poplowski killed three police officers, wounded two others. People report that Poplowski was a white supremacist and a birther, and evidence on his computer revealed that he was watching Glenn Beck conspiracy theories that Obama was constructing FEMA camps around the country to intern dissenters. In May of 2009, lone gunman Scott Rader killed abortion doctor George Tiller. Of course, Bill O'Reilly on dozens of different episodes spoke about George Tiller calling him Tiller the baby killer. In July of last year, lone gunman By Byron Williams attempted to murder members of the Tides Foundation, an obscure liberal organization, and members of the ACLU. He was stopped in his car before he could commence the massacre, but he put more than 200 bullets into the state police cars that stopped him, wounding two police officers. Prior to that, Glenn Beck had condemned the Tides Foundation 29 different times on his television show, claiming they were part of the liberal conspiracy. Can we really dismiss all of this violence as a coincidence, as simply the acts of deranged lone wolves? Or are we seeing here st st stochastic terrorism at work on America's airwaves? Day in and day out, Americans hear this kind of stuff in the political discourse. You have a naked Marxist American hating, white hating wing of the party about to seize power. These are actual quotes. The government is full of vampires who are trying to suck the lifeblood out of the economy. Their thirst for power and control is unquenchable, and there are only two ways for this to end. Either the, the economy becomes the walking dead, or you drive a stake through the heart of the liberals. Stake through the heart of the liberals? I'm thinking about killing him, and I'm wondering, he's speaking of Michael Moore here, and I'm wondering if I could kill him myself or if I would need to hire someone to do it. No, I think I could. I think he could be looking me in the eye, you know, and I could just be choking the life out. Another one. Body after body after body is going to be piled up at the steps of the Capitol. They're going to take these guys, and they're just going to grab them by the throat, suck their soul out of them, and then cast them aside. I believe that was in reference to health care reform. We need to execute people like that in order to physically intimidate liberals by making them realize that they can be killed too. And here this last quote. In my eyes, the charge against liberalism became a grave one the moment I discovered the liberal activities in the press, in arts, in literature, in theater. Here was a pestilence, a moral pestilence, with which the public was being infected. Every single quote you just heard has been broadcast on American airwaves, fallen on the hear ears of both sane and insane, every single quote except for one. And that quote is from Mein Kampf, written by Adolf Hitler. Can you tell me which one? Probably not. All I did was change the word Jew to liberal, and suddenly Hitler sounds right at home among the most vitriolic of conservative commentators in 2011. That's how bad things have gotten today. This is talk radio and television in Nazi Germany. Now can you see the role of catastic terrorism? People hear these quotes. They hear these guys say this stuff. Oh, the war was just beginning. The other side is attacking. There's a coup going on. These are more quotes. They're taking you out of a place to be slaughtered. They're putting a gun to America's head. The people taking these, wars, these words very seriously are not the average radio or television viewer. They're the disturbed. 
This is what Osama bin Laden did to activate the crazies, and in America today, the crazies are being activated. It's not too late to step back from the edge, to change the tone. This is not a call for censorship. It's a call for responsibility.